Hi, hello, sorry, welcome to uh, part three. Uh, I only get about a minute and a half uh, video on my phone, so apologies for that. Yes, as I was saying, uh, my, my top up, my evaporation's gone up a bit more since I've removed the lids. And all I run now is the bar across the uh, the middle with the uh, T5 lighting, um, which arguably um, is maybe not up to scratch. Um, that is kind of the uh, next update I'm looking to do is um, some kind of LED uh, unit on this tank, but it's one white bulb, one bulb, blue bulb supplied by Jewel. Uh, but like I said, it, um, I do suffer from a bit of cyano, which I regularly have to treat, and I put it down to uh, my lights because my my uh, my water parameters are, are spot on. My phosphate is zero and my nitrate is minimal, so uh, good water flow. I'm pretty much down to the uh, the light. I just don't think I'm getting enough light into the tank, albeit my corals, which are relatively hardy, seem to be doing okay. So uh, yeah, stock-wise, a uh, couple of clownfish, They've been the longest serve, they've been in there about six months. The Blue Dale Tamsel, which my wife put in the tank as a surprise for me, wasn't too keen, but I've grown on him. He's a nice fish. He was a bit aggressive at first, but since the Flame Angel went in about two weeks ago, he's been fine. Uh, yeah, and the Flame Angel himself, I was really worried about putting this fish in. He was a lot of money, um, 60 plus pounds. Wife wasn't too happy, but yeah, he's been fine. He's been in there two weeks. Yeah, he's scooting around looking for um, food. Some people will say this tank's probably not big enough for him. Uh, I did, did do a lot of research, and some a lot of websites do say 55 gallon minimum. Others say nine, uh, 90 liters, which I think is probably a bit too small. But this is a 120 liter tank. Uh, I spoke to a couple of good uh, fish retailers who I've got a good relationship with. They said, uh, you know, provided he's on his own, the only angel fish I should do should do okay. I mean, I am looking maybe in the next year or two to go to a bigger tank anyway. So. I'm not overly too concerned, but yeah, he's doing fine. Uh, and I've got the blood, uh, the blood uh, shrimp in there, an assortment of uh, snails and crabs. And coral-wise, I haven't got too many in there. I don't, I'm not really into corals, to be honest. It was just in some hardy ones for the aesthetic look. I've got the thing, the leather coral up there. I've had it for a number of months. I've got these mushrooms here. They just seem to be breeding. This one here, as you can just see, I've laid some like babies, and they're like growing. And this. Uh, I do forget the names of Dracophilia, Eucophilia. It's a nocturnal thing. It mainly comes out at night, but like it will, it will come out in the day. And I just feed this tank some coral food, just some salafate, soft coral food, uh, once or twice a week. Seems to be doing the business. But yeah, tank's doing really well. Um, like I said, this was once a freshwater tank. Uh, happy to give people some advice if they've got a dual lighter, uh, 120, and they want to um, convert it. I know there's a few people out on YouTube that have done it. I've seen some good ones. But I think mine's uh, looking pretty good. Uh, if anyone can uh, wants to comment or subscribe, please do. And if you want to leave me a comment for any advice, I'd uh, love to get back to you. Okay, cheers.